cataractcoach.com, even smaller incisions for MSICS. So here's a technique where you can bisect the nucleus in the AC prior to extracting the halves. Now our operating guest surgeon here is Dr. Amos Ravindra from India. He sent us many videos in the past and he really does a beautiful job of SICS, including um, splitting the nucleus in the AC prior to removal of the half. So you can see there's the initial incision, probably about 2.8 millimeters wide. A little tripan blue dye going in. This is a real cataract. I like how his incision has been um, created with a good tunnel length. Look at the tripan blue staining, the stroma of the incision. Very nicely done here. So now using a sharp needle to decompress the capsular bag and incise that anterior lens capsule. Now the incisions are widened up probably to about four and a half, maybe five millimeters wide. Let's call it five millimeters wide. Notice how the incision now, we're looking more into the con side and the sclera. A little bit of a mini pyridomy has been done. And now the incisions are widened up on the inside. So perhaps the incision is about six or seven millimeters on the inside, probably about five, maybe five and a half millimeters on the outside. And now look at the trick here of getting a big rexus. Do not make a baby rexus. Remember, we want to get this nucleus up out of the capsule bag. If your rexus is smaller than five millimeters, that's going to be quite a challenge, especially when it has this high level of density. So you want to get this nucleus up. So let's make it at least a five and a half millimeter rexus. This looks just about perfect right there. So there's our nucleus. Now we got to get that out of the capsule bag. And you can do hydrodissection. You can do a viscodissection. You can do whatever you want. Here, he's going to use a sandwich technique. Look at that, two instruments to rotate the nucleus to really express out any of that cortex. You can see he just wants to come right out of the eye. And now he can just use it like chopsticks. He can pick up that nucleus and bring it up in the AC. That's a beautiful technique. Not something I've ever done before, but I'm willing to learn. Teach me. And now there's the nucleus. Let's take the, the, the lens loop's going to go under it. Now look in the other hand, more viscoelastic. And now switching to a sharp needle. And using that needle to score the nucleus and cut into that nucleus, it's being supported on the bottom by the lens loop. And he's just going to use that needle. Look at that. He just cut the nucleus or broke it into two halves. Fantastic. Now using a little bit of traction there, that first half can be brought outside the eye. And look, a smaller incision. He did it. More viscoelastic going in, probably HPMC. Again, using that the lens loop on the bottom and then a cannula on top. Now wash out the remainder of that lens material. Here, even just using a Simcoe cannula to clean up. Simcoe cannula to wash out remaining lens material, lens cortex, aspirate that from the capsule bag. Looks pretty clean. Now the nice part of this, suit, this surgery is, wow, it's low cost. No phaco machine used in this case. No irrigation aspiration, just manual instruments like a Simcoe cannula. Or here, a curved kind of J cannula. And cleaning up that sub incisional space. More HPMC going inside. And that HPMC is helpful in this case because remember, the, look how big the incision is compared to that Simcoe cannula. IOL going inside the eye, going right in the capture bag. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens. And that looks really good. So neat technique. You know, you can learn this as well. And I learned a lot of things. You know I learn a lot more by doing cataract coats than I ever learned in my life. So this is a very helpful thing for me. I learned my making videos. So I learned in this case that technique of using chopsticks the chopstick technique of holding that nucleus and bringing it up out of the bag. I like that very much. And then I also liked how you use the needle to kind of cut through the nucleus. Let's watch that again. This is the important part of the case. Again, a little viscoelastic there on top to protect the cornea, create some space. And now the needle is pushing down and cutting or scoring into that nucleus right in the center, the densest part, being supported by that lens loop beneath it. And look at that, just beautifully split two halves. Keep going. Fantastic. And now a little bit of traction there and pull that one piece out. Notice how he's careful not to let the, the piece scrape against the endothelium of the cornea. A little more viscoelastic in here. There's the second piece. Again, lens loop on the bottom, cannula on top, and bring that thing right out. Wow. Beautiful technique. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. CataractCoach.com. Check it out.